The Lord tells me he can get me out of this mess, but he's pretty sure you're fucked. one of the guys dying at that uh, intro oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> welcome rock out podcast motherfuckers hi hi everybody hi everybody um yeah welcome rock out podcast uh thank you guys all for tuning in and uh putting up with our shit tickling your balls to our sexy sexy voices mm. i bet somebody's out there tweaking their nipples to our sexy low voices yeah. hey. pulling, it's probably dude so it kind of sucks pulling on them like <laughs> just pulling Make, on them making nipple cocks out of them. <laughs> get my nipple cocks out stretch them stretch them oh it hurts <laughs> uh yeah man thanks for tuning in guys uh of course we got to uh Thank our lovely sponsor at Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing, 300 South State, Clearfield, you, 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 do, do, Utah. R- 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 wiki, wiki. <laughs> Clearfield, Utah. <laughs> Which I saw my hoodie on, I'd be like, zipping up now. Wiki, 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 wiki. Yeah, man. Uh, Cameron's not there this weekend. He'll be back uh, Tuesday. He's in the forest. That's a good place to be. So uh, call and get an appointment to Eating date. mushrooms and rain dancing. Hell yeah. He really is a native, so fuck yeah. off. That wasn't racist. Yeah, he's I'll a say, Joe. I'll say he racist stuff later. <laughs> we'll say that <laughs> later in the show. If any of you cunts want to reach us, you can reach us at rocketpodcast at gmail dot com or in, on any messages us on any of the socials, the I social media. You can talk, talk today. You can. Uh, we're on the Instagrams, oh, the, the Twatters, and I think it's just at, at Rocket Podcast. Is yeah. that what the, the, yeah, the just handles are? Look just, it up. Just Come on. Search it. I don't have to give you the shit. What are we, professional yeah. or some shit? Figure it out. Sorry, and, I just uh, kicked the microphone. But yeah, I know. And I think we're on the book face, too. Yeah. So any of the bullshits on there. And uh, if you uh, want to listen on YouTube, we're also on YouTube. The ones that get not taken off. but yeah. um, YouTube. Well, we, we decided to actually just record the little videos and not just do them live and so we could put them up on youtube as well yeah but all the audio is up there and uh, you can go and like share subscribe hit the notification bell don't do any of this out smash that button you smash that fucking button you won't get notification if we get if we get popular on youtube then they're just gonna fucking kick us off they won't let us tell you oh they're they're getting popular before we give them the award for so many subscribers Let's listen to it. Yeah. And the fucking algorithm would blow a fucking gasket. Yeah. <laughs> Steam would be coming out of it. You can't even watch YouTube anymore, you guys. You're fucked. <laughs> Shut up, YouTube. Yeah. They fucking send the YouTube police after us. <laughs> murder us and our families. Pull over. Pull over. <laughs> oh, but yeah, just, uh, yeah, if you want to get a hold of us, just hit us up. And if you're a band... Um, you want to get a review done of your an album or a song or uh, anything like that? Maybe be a guest on the podcast. Uh, we're actually doing a review tonight. We are sacrificial betrayal. Hit us up and said, "Hey, fella, re- review my song." We got this little musical band going, and we'd like you to play it on the old interwebs. Yep. So we're gonna do that tonight. Yep. Because they messaged us about reviewing their song. See, and I said. Yeah, man, we'll fucking do that. That's how it works. Yeah. So. Metal, metal, punk, uh, you know, bluegrass, country music. Oh, God, twist my nipples. Some, Too we, late. We got a fucking bluegrass band to send us some shit in. Like, hey, I play the banjo and I sing about sad things in Appalachia. I'm like, <laughs> God damn, dude. He's like, I just fucking wet myself. I am, we're My panties are moist. Clean up on aisle four. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
That was terrible. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a big bluegrass fan, so you know that. I love Earl Scruggs. His shit's green. Don't let him lie to you. Do you know why the dinosaurs didn't exist? Or, or, I really can't talk tonight. I'm, it was it was Satan. Sh- I heard it was Satan put the fossils sh- I'm there. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. No. And that's to, to tempt us to wait for Christ. Really, there's a really great quote from Earl Scruggs that says, "Dinosaurs didn't have bluegrass music, and look at them. They're look stink at them. them. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> oh my God. We're gonna um." Yeah, we gotta do the toast now. Yeah, I, I brought some some Ooh, some, he some did. fancy. I've got some twelve year old uh, Glenn Fittich Scotch single malt. Another clean up on aisle four. Yeah, Holy shit, he's I'm got the drooling. Good, he's got the goods tonight. Yeah, I, I I've been working so much overtime at work. I'm like, I was getting some meat at the liquor store, and there's a show I watch on uh, Netflix. It's a Scottish comedy called Still Game. You should check it out if you like rude, fucked up. Scott, like English humor, but it's Scottish. He tried to he tried to show it to me. I just yeah, I, I didn't get it. You got to watch the moment that everybody thinks they're gay. It's hilarious. <laughs> and um, so they're they uh, they figure out that they um, if they get cremated instead of having a funeral, mm-hmm. that they can take three hundred bucks out of their fucking funeral fund <laughs> and just go <laughs> waste it. So he comes in. He's like, oh, single malt. He's like, what'd you do in the lottery? <laughs> <laughs> and after they drink it, they're just like, oh, you can't go back to the normal stuff after that. <laughs> so I saw that. I'm like, I'm going to fucking splurge a little bit and get some fucking single malt. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel like I can see you. And that helps me yeah. talk to you. Well, these new boom stands are movable. Got some, we're, we're upgrading. I know, but. The Chinese stuff. I keep fucking. You know what? <laughs> So then, now we're gonna do a fucking toast. We're gonna try this shit out. Yep. Uh, know, got anyone you want to dedicate it to? Anyone? Right now, I don't know. Okay. My family, I'm not gonna see anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to, <laughs> the, to, to the lost. <laughs> Cheers. Keep us. That's fucking delicious. That is good. That is smooth as fuck. That is so smooth. You don't even have to chase it. I know. My nose hairs are barely moving. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's some good shit, huh? I got it. I get in trouble with that. I don't even like whiskey. Would you mind if I ran a shot up to the wifey? Yeah, man. Mrs. Joe in a minute? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, I think I got this. It was like 50 bucks. But it's Glenn Fittich. They have a 12, 15, and 18. I got the low end, high end. Because <laughs> the 18 was like 75 bucks yeah. for a bottle. I'm like, well... I didn't work that much overtime. <laughs> I worked overtime, but not that Still much. got to buy, like, all my OnlyFans and everything like that, you know? Right, you yeah. Know, I got to keep my girls, you know, afloat. Why would you pay for porno? It's free. <laughs> oh, you got to support those girls. That's a fucking choice, dude. That's not a great They can choice. strip like every other normal girl. We can't even take the fatties. Yeah. You know? It's horrible. Yeah. Anyway. Anywho. Let's play that, uh... Sacrificial Betrayal song. You wanna? Well, what have you been up to this week, man? Oh shit! God damn it! I don't even fucking. You're, you're I don't know how to do, today, dude. I don't know how to do a podcast anymore. That's why you got it. That's why you got a co-host. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know shit about <laughs> shit. I don't know shit about fuck, man. I don't know fuck about shit. Yeah, but I know shit about fuck, fuck shit. That's beautiful. I think that's ass to mouth. That's beautiful. Yeah. Basta trout. I think I, that, that, that was the only thing. <laughs> the only thing I studied in school. Was basta trout. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! What have I been up to this week? We're gonna have a guest on tonight. But yeah, they probably listened to it and then said no. I legit think the dude listened to it, and he was like, "Oh no, man, I can't fuck with that shit." Just like, oh, no. Nah. You guys are. Crazy. And I heard the N-word a couple times. What the fuck, man? Like, what are you talking about? Nigeria? Yeah, Nigeria, dude. Chad. Is that like bad now? Chad. Niger? The Congo. Oh. Hanya! Hanya! It's better than... Uh, it's better than the other country there. You are gay. You are gay, yeah. <laughs> that <place. laughs> it's not as bad as Rand McNally, where they walk on their hands and wear hats on their feet and hamburgers eat people. That's not a real place, is it? No. 
Oh, okay. I was scared. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> I might get the monkey pox. I love fucking hamburgers. Oh, man. Monkey pox. Yeah, it's been a slow week, man. Yeah, what are you up to? Anything good? Uh, so I've been practicing. Actually, Monday, um, we had Raven's Hike practice, and uh, Cole couldn't make it because he had some family issues. Oh, really, Cole? Yeah. Really? I got family things. <laughs> and so uh, me and Randy just sat and... I mean, we just played one riff for like ten minutes, and then played the next riff for like ten minutes, yeah. and just got it, got that song we're working on down pretty good. So I, I saw a profile for Randy on Facebook. Yep. But like after my first impression of him, where I was just shit housed and I was just fucking going off angrily, mm-hmm. I was reluctant to hit add friend. I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm like scared. He's <laughs> like, fuck you. He's like, you look like the kind of person I'd wake up standing over my bed with a knife. <laughs> I don't want to be your fucking friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's cool as shit. Yeah, no, he, he seemed cool as shit. I was just like, man, I know I made a bad first impression, but I had to fucking, I had to get some shit off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> well, no more Cleveland steamers for you. He just fucking happened to be collateral damage into fucking <laughs> me fucking going off to you because I fucking, I need to, you know? Yeah, I feel you. It's but, like yeah. sometimes you, sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name mm-hmm. and the feelings are all the same. Yeah. Sounds like it'd be a good jingle for like a TV show or something. Hmm. Yeah. Let, let's put a pin in that and come yeah. back to it. Yeah. We'll maybe maybe I'll write some stuff. Maybe piano or something. For Raven's Reich. Raven's Reich. I'm always going to call it Raven's Reich. You need to change it to Raven's <laughs> no, Reich. It's Raven's Hike. <laughs> like a raven's going for a hike. They have yeah, wings. Well, Why would they go yeah, for a hike? they're flying up the hike. They're going up to the top of the tower to go see Odin, brother. Makes no sense, dude. They have wings. A hike is a journey. Raven's Hike. Uh-huh. Like he's hiking. Yeah, like, he's with got his, his little... backpack and he's got his little fucking camel back on and everything. He has a backpack and a camel pack? Well, he doesn't want to dehydrate. That's terrible planning. Do you know how what a long hike it is to get to go see Odin? No. It's pretty long. I don't know the exact distance, but it's pretty long. <laughs> well, we, we, like, from here to Magna, or like... No, we, like, from here to Ram McNally. Son of a bitch, where the fuck... What is that? <laughs> it's actually the company that makes Our maps. Mark. Oh. And those globes. And there's a Simpsons thing when he was when Homer was looking at the globe, and he's like, ooh, look at this place, Ram McNally. And he's like, I never heard of that. And so <laughs> they started making shit up. Damn, dude. A fucking Simf- Simpsons reference I didn't get. I don't like that at all. Cha-cha. Maybe I'll have to do a Simpsons freaking trivia for you. Oh, yeah, dude. Because I love Simpsons, but I haven't watched it in like like yeah. 10 years. What happened to you, man? You used to be cool. You used to be cool. What? China's, China's still cool. <laughs> you pay later. 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 <laughs> the fucking one that I always quote to Cameron. Mm-hmm. Anytime, like we're hanging out, or he's tattooing me, or whatever, it's that like when they're at the casino. He's like, "That's my brother, Crazy Duck." We're all a little worried about him. No, he's all. And he's like, "Don't talk about it. that's Crazy Talk, man." That's crazy no, talk. that's my brother. No, that's my brother, Crazy Duck. We're all a little worried about him. He's out there selling fireworks on the side <laughs> of the freeway. <laughs> and then there's the one that's like, "That's the same episode." Don't turn around. I told you not anything like, turns around and sees this like deforestation everywhere and he's like <laughs> starts crying. He's like, I told you not to turn around. Like, you think that's bad, don't turn around. <laughs> There's like one piece of garbage. And, he, and he's crying. He's like, Don't turn around, yeah. <laughs> Those are what's always quit the yeah. camera. He always gets them. That's funny. Cause well, anyway, he's, he's we awesome. should get up to Simpsons kick. Can we? No, I love this. We should get off your mom. Says Guff. Too late. I did last your night. Mo- your mom. Wait, what? I said that joke wrong. Yeah. We should get off your mom because I just got off your mom. Because <laughs> your mom just got me off. Your mom just got me off. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a long show tonight, too. We've so got it's like, like extra, extra stuff. We have. Uh, I did not bring my one, A game. Two, three, four. I think we have five songs still to go. Wow, Beavis, you really brought your aim gate. <laughs> it's from the new movie. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so, shit. like we usually say in the intro, um, if you cool. guys have a band or anything like that, uh, and you want us to play yeah. it on air and uh, review it, Where so we do it. And uh, this is the first one. It's huh? been covered. Well, since I've been here. Yeah, since you since uh, you came in as co-host, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. And uh, it was funny because we were talking earlier. We thought... 
for some reason, the band was called Pathbreaker. <laughs> but it was a song, and it took Bandcamp to tell us we're simps, and uh, we need to read shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Sacrificial Betrayal, yeah. um, and the song is called Pathbreaker. Yeah. And so they reached out, and so we're going to let you listen to it as well. We've listened to it already, so yeah. Uh, but we'll play that for you, and we will uh, let you know our thoughts on that. But if you like what you hear from it, it's Sacrificial Betrayal, Bandcamp dot com. Okay? That's the easiest way to hear it. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get this shit rolling. Can you reach that? You got long monkey arms. What? What? You I ain't touching. Go that. to the Dude, song. Put it back in your pants. Go to the song. Oh no. I'm gonna play it. Uh, I'm just playing it. I'm playing it. Yeah, turn off our mics.
No. That was Sacrificial Betrayal with the song Pathbreaker. Sacrificial Betrayal. Bandcamp.com. Dot Bandcamp.com. So if you like that, what you heard, check it out. Um, my initial thoughts, when I first heard it, I'm like, oh, okay, it's just some some hardcore. Yeah. I'm not a huge hardcore fan. I used to be when I was younger. Yeah. Um, like, I was into, like, the old, old stuff because I'm an old, old guy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I did like some of the nuances they've done in that with, like, uh, the multi-tracking on the vocals where he could do, like, just like, rah, 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 and then it, rah. Yeah, I, mean, like, I, I and, like, like those little vocals. Yeah. And they kept a consistent, uh, like, uh, if you're a musician and you're listening, you'll know, like, keeping it consistent of changing the riffs around and not just making it too boring. But it was... The production on it, wherever they got it recorded, it was pretty fucking good. Sounds good. Sounded really fucking good. Sounded good. Um, had some good fucking hooks to it. And, uh, yeah, overall, I mean, since I haven't listened to a lot of hardcore in a long time, but, uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty decent. Um, they were on time. That's the best thing for me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I've heard shit. You're like, and you're putting this out. Okay. What well, you, good what luck with that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can count. <laughs> it's a four count dude and uh but yeah i mean it was cool like especially at the end there you can really tell how he does the uh, three vocals on there i really i really dug that and they have a kind of like instead of just doing a gen 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 they have that kind of and then they, they're doing yeah. kind of a chordy thing that's kind of like got that kind of a little bit of a blackish influence into it uh, a little bit more melody than just a regular just fucking jump up and down and punch each other yeah judge a, yeah judge judge shit yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, no, uh, um, at first when I heard it, I was like, okay, I've, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest, I've heard this a thousand times, like, I've I've heard a lot of bands that sound like this, but as I listen to it a bit more, it is very clean, it is very put together and somewhat tight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the genre anymore. Uh, kind of like what you're saying. I uh, I love the old old hardcore, and um, you know, uh, uh, you you hear you hear one band that sounds kind of like Terror, or, uh, um, uh, you know, Hatebreed or you know, something like that. Or like yeah. New York stuff. Not you know, you, you've heard you've you've kind of heard it all. You know. Um, but this I really liked. I, I, I appreciated it. Um, I really appreciated him reaching out and, uh, saying, Hey, check out my song. I don't even take some balls to fucking send a song to a couple of assholes like this who talk shit on everything. You know what I mean? Just take some serious cojones. Um, you know, it's not something I would, uh, rush out and fucking freak out and be like, Holy shit. This is, you know, it's my jam. This is, this is my shit. But, you know what? Uh, they play their instruments well. I dug the vocals. I love that, uh, you know, like you're saying, kind of the double layer yeah. kind of vocals, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, you know, it's decent. I wouldn't turn it off, you know. Yeah. And that's like me, like now, I'm, I'm a lot more into like, you know, different styles of music. But junior high me, I was yeah. getting into listening the fucking agnostic front and sick of it all and fucking yeah. you know when all that hardcore stuff was coming out oh i would have jerked off to that song yeah well, <laughs> the funny thing is like those bands didn't really sound like anything like that like agnostic front kind of did as they progressed and got older but they were more like punk based yeah where you know i think after 1988 you saw the emergence of bands like Earth Crisis and um, Integrity, who mm-hmm. took more of a metal-influenced um, kind of approach to the hardcore stuff. Yeah, you know, and a lot of times it, it put out bands like in uh, Ringworm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Who I absolutely love. I love Integrity. You know what I mean. But uh, it also created kind of a, a huge. Uh, wave of bands that all kind of sound like terror <laughs> <laughs> well that's what happens with every every genre yeah yeah you know like yeah. it, it's something that's some, very somebody, true somebody somebody, very true. somebody will be original and 
it gets, you know, everybody starts copying it. But that's what I liked about this song. Cause like, same with you. Like at first I'm like, okay, it's just, it's a hardcore song. Yeah. I've heard this a million times. And then when I listen to it more, I'm like, oh, okay. They're doing actually doing, cause I just, I actually listened to it and what yeah. they were doing instead of just like listening to it as a song, I do things cause I'm a musician. I'll separate the bass and just listen to the bass. I'll separate the guitars and just listen to the guitars and so on and so forth. Yeah. And then I just started um, noticing all the nuances they were doing. And I was like, oh, well, this is actually very multi-layered and that's yeah. way better. It's not just like, you know, a bunch of dudes playing power chords. They're actually doing things on yeah. it. And it was, uh, and that, I'm like, okay, I like this a lot better now. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a pretty decent track. Like, yeah, I wouldn't turn it off. It was on. Yeah. So overall, yeah. Good shits, guys. Fucking uh, keep blasting it out. Thanks for thanks for reaching out to us, and uh, thanks for having us review your shit, man. Anyone else that wants us to reach wants to reach out to us and have us review your stuff, feel free, man. You yeah, know send I mean? us up rockgutpodcast at gmail dot com, man. We'll just uh, yeah, we'll send us uh, your deets and uh, maybe an MP three track or something like that. If you have a better file, we can use that too. So yeah, uh, but yeah, and. We'll, we'll we'll fit into our busy schedule. We're very busy. People love us. People love us. I have a hard time, man. I'm very busy. I drink a lot. Yeah. You know? Am I supposed to pick myself off the floor every time? <laughs> no. I'm on the floor tonight for sure, man. Jesus. Mike, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. No. You know what? And kind of on the subject of things that I like that a lot of people don't like. Yep. I got a little list. Well, like I I'll, I'll preface it by saying I saw a list of on on the socials of friends on my socials put up these lists of uh, things that they don't like that everyone likes. Mustard. So what? I love mustard. I fucking hate you. It's so good. It's sick. I'll just sometimes just eat a mustard hot dog. Just, I know. Just with a hot dog. And, and your son sends me pictures of his mustard hot dogs. It's disgusting. It's, it, I'd rather see a dick pic from him than a picture of him holding a fucking hot dog covered in mustard. It's disgusting. You don't want to see a dick pic from him? Yeah, at least I'd have to get a magnifying glass out to see it. I don't know, dude. He's Hawaiian. He's got... Oh, yeah. I forgot. Ones. He's like R2-D2, man. Like a tripod. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> but, so I, I did kind of a... a reversal? A, a reversal on it. Hell yeah. And I did things that I like that most people don't like. And I, I started doing on like the socials on, I'll, I'm going to stop saying that because it makes me want to beat my, beat, kick my own ass. I saw on Facebook, so I, wa I wanted to do like things I like that most people don't like. And I mm -hmm. started listing things that I like, like Pantera. <laughs> 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 Shut up. Rob Zombie films. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a toss up. And then I was like. You know, this would be kind of a fun thing to do on the podcast. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, this is my list. Things right. I like that most people hate. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yep. Here it goes. I don't know. That was like some kind of dumb fucking intro thing. For it's fun. Things I like most people hate. Um, illegal coat hanger abortions. Yeah, man. Let's go back to old school. Get that bitch in that back end. Dude, I remember... Uh, right behind Kern's High where the pit was. <laughs> get a couple of those coat hangers and get that sucker out of there. I used to have this Meat Men shirt, and it was a coat hanger that was upside down. It had, like, organs hanging off, and there was a baby at the bottom, and it said, Pro Death. <laughs> I, love I love Tesco V. Um, that's one that's for the list. <laughs> Uh, Trump. Yeah, Trump. <laughs> Sorry. He's an asshole, but... He's our asshole. Yeah, and he's right. For a few things, yeah. Yeah. Holocaust deniers. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. It was only 5,999,999. <laughs> hey, man. Get, get off your fucking fable. Math was not my best subject. <laughs> The Catholic Church. Oh, yeah, I don't like that very much. <laughs> Will Smith smacking the fuck out of Chris Rock. I liked it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I just thought the reaction was funny. Like, huh? Oh, did I just get... Did, what? Did that Will, Will Smith just smacked shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, he said that. He awesome. did. <laughs> uh, the movie The Witch. 
good I movie. I saw a lot of people shitting on that movie. It was man. a great show. Even a, even friends of mine shat on that movie, and I was like, like you stop. need to rewatch it and read that ending thing where it's like all the dialogue came from the witch trials and shit, mm-hmm. things that were actually said. Well, I think it was just people. Nothing was happening, and they're like, I can't slow take burns. it. Yeah, slow burns. People yeah. don't like slow burns, man. No, I love them. Yeah, oh yeah, build that suspense. Dude, dude. Like, Alfred Hitchcock, come shit. on, man. And then yeah. at the end, you're like, what the fuck was yeah. that? No way. Yeah. There's a movie called Session 9 that's a lot like that. Yeah, I'll have to uh, check that out. Yeah, It's an old movie, and not a lot of people enjoyed it. Yeah, we'll put that on the list. Yeah. Um, Rob Zombie Films. I think you already said that. Uh, no, I said that as an example of things. Oh, okay. But, yeah, Rob Zombie Films. I like them. I like them all. Devil's Rejects. I like them all. I liked Lords of Salem. Did you, suck my dick? Did you like? I enjoyed it. Okay, the only one I couldn't sit through, and I thought it was a piece of shit, was House of a Thousand Corpses. Well, it's because you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I have a taste. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. It was psychedelic and fun. The acting was, was terrible, yeah. but it's fine. Well, I don't mind about acting. I watch tons of B movies. I thought it was fine. Yeah, well. I thought it was fun. It was Sid, ha- Sid that's Haig. That's your list. Sid Haig being fucking the shit. Yeah. Man, being hilarious. All right. The LDS Church. No, no. Yeah, man. Born and bred, baby. They no do thanks. A, they do a lot for the people in this state. They, they do, do actually. They do. fucking people, period. They're some of the first people to fucking go somewhere and help out shit. So, yeah. I like those motherfuckers. Uh... The Proud Boys. Proud Boys. What's up, guys? Those motherfuckers get a bad rap that well, they don't deserve. They Every don't, time man. I interviewed them twice, I've hung out with them a couple on a few occasions just to see what the fuck they're all about because I have balls and I want to talk shit on people I don't know shit about. Yeah. So I went and had a beer with them and I talked to them. Yeah. The uh, Salt Lake chapter? Uh, yeah. Well, it was the Utah chapter. Utah yeah. chapter. Yeah. And they do get a lot of shit, and it's just because they're standing time, up for America, and then the people in charge are fucking trying to destroy it. The so funny they can build thing is, like, better. they get this like thing of like they're white nationalists. I know. Every single time I went up there, there was a Hispanic guy named Mario there, mm-hmm. and I've seen a lot of like. Or, Isn't like, there a Puerto Rican in charge of them, dude? Like the new leader, yeah. And there's like Polynesian and black members. Yeah, I mean, it's like people that. It, love their country and they're not going to stand it by and let runs it get the fucking gamut. run over. Yeah, back in the day they were called skinheads. Yeah. Not the Proud Boys, but like yeah. people that love their country and put their country first. They were called skinheads. Yep. Traditional the skinheads. That's what they are. Yeah, and like why wouldn't you be a nationalist? Like, I hate my country. Yeah, I hate yeah, my country. Get the fuck out then. Yeah. Well, Go somewhere well, else. Why the fuck do you live here if you hate it? There's, what... I don't know, over 120 other countries you can move to. Well, that's like uh, when I told you that I told that guy on Facebook... He was bitching about America, and I'm like, how about this, bro? He was talking about how he wanted America should go communist. And so I'm like, I got, I'll give you a deal. I'll, I'll give you a fucking deal. Yeah. If you hate America so much and you just can't stand living here, it's so horrible. Yeah. I'll fucking buy you a one-way ticket to Venezuela mm-hmm. so you can experience communism yeah. yourself. And I'll help you do all the... Um, the immigration paperwork and everything. Get the fuck out of here if you yeah, don't like it. You, you know hate what? it so bad. You think communism is so great. You could sit down and have a conversation with my father-in-law mm-hmm. or mother-in-law who escaped a communist country to mm-hmm. get here. Or any of those people from the restaurant called House of Tibet or Himalayan Kitchen. All people yep. that escaped communism to be you know, here in America. There's, there's so many Americans fleeing to other communist countries yeah. To, yeah. To, to, for freedom. And go ahead and <laughs> do it. Get the fuck out. Last watch one. It. Last but not least. All right. The Nuge. Ted Nugent. I love Ted Nugent. I like Ted Nugent. Yep. All right, man. That's my list. All right. I didn't write mine down, but I got a few things. All right. And some of them are on yours because I like Trump, too. <laughs> and for, like, the basis reason of he pisses people off. <laughs> and it's like, like yeah. I, I, ain't gonna lie, I voted for him. I did, too. Um, And one of the reasons because he was just, like, no bullshit. Yeah. He's like, no bullshit. He's like, this is how it is. If you don't fucking like it, too bad. This is what's going on. I have to fucking fix it. Yeah. But he said means to be here. Jesus um, Christ, can you imagine if Winston Churchill had a fucking Twitter account? <laughs> what kind of mean shit dude, he would say? Let's think of all the drunk fucking texts he put out and shit. Because <laughs> he was a total raging alky. Yeah. 
And uh, all right, uh, let me see if I can remember some of the things that I like. Well, sure. Trump for sure. Should have wrote it down. Um, and I actually do like the Proud Boys. I like I like what they stand for because they're just basically they're almost a militia group, you know. And I think if shit hit the fan, they would be. I don't think there's anything wrong with militia groups. You know what I mean? I don't either. It's really in the don't. Constitution. It's needed. Yeah. It's a well armed a well armed uh, militia. militia. You yeah. know what I mean? And that meant the local army, but you know what? I don't trust our government. I just don't. Yeah. I trust a bunch of guys who work nine to fives every day. Well, when the leader of our fucking, uh, shit, when the leader know? of the fucking country tells you, I'm running out of patience with you people. Oh yeah. And it's like, why? Cause we won't get a vaccine. Well, guess what? You work for me, motherfucker. Yeah. I was just thinking that when you were saying that, I was like, you know, bitch, you don't work fucking for us. tell me, go you fuck know? yourself. Run out of patience. You are my employee. Not the other way around. Yeah. All right. So I like watching true, like, real life death and executions and shit. <laughs> like, I sit there and I laugh. Like, when people, like, fuck up, like, they fail army, but they die yeah. and they get squished by something or yeah. fucking they go through an intersection and get hit by a semi. Dude, I fucking, I love it. You I've know been, what? I've been watching this as a kid. <laughs> it's so good, dude. It's like, and most people, like, will come over. I'm eating spaghetti and meatballs watching this shit. And they're like, oh, my God, what the fuck is it wrong with you? What are you watching? <laughs> I don't know, fucking some dude fucking in a 200 mile an hour motorcycle accident hitting a fucking phone pole. <laughs> what are you watching, Netflix? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I've always loved it since I was a kid. I love people being, being attacked by animal videos. Yeah. I love them so except much. For, except for when it's a dog, because I've been attacked by a lot of dogs. Well, it goes with territory. It goes with territory, yeah. <laughs> um, I like peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwiches. It's fucking delicious. Yeah, no, but mustard's weird. Yeah, mustard's disgusting. I call it my protein sandwich. But um, <laughs> it was funny because uh, I, I think if I remember, I was watching a movie. He's like, ew, gross. He probably eats peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwiches. And I'm like, like a light bulb went off in my head. Like, hmm, I have peanut butter. I have mayonnaise. I have and I have bread. I'm going to try it. <laughs> And it was fucking good. It's not good with fucking Miracle Whip. I tried that. It's disgusting. Ew, Miracle Whip's just disgusting anyway. Yeah, it's like fucking like coagulated it's, jizz. It's sweet mayonnaise. It's and, uh, gross. and then all my friends and my family would tease me about it. Ew, Mikey eats peanut butter mayonnaise sandwiches. I'm like, yeah, so what? They're good. You know what we should do? Uh, Next episode, uh -huh. I'll try a bite of okay. peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich. Chunky or non-chunky? I prefer the crunchy. I like. I like, I like the chunky too. I like nuts in my mouth. I don't know what. It <laughs> that's is. what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what his father gave me. <laughs> <Zing. No. Hey> -oh. <laughs> and uh, but then I actually found out, um, like once the old internet came around, that I guess in the South it's like, yeah, that's normal. Really? Yeah, people. It's like a they'll serve it in restaurants in the South. Correct me if I'm wrong. If everybody's out there, hit us up at rockgutpodcast to gmail dot com. Hear that drop? Um, tell me if you ever heard of that. But I guess it's like a big thing in the South, and actually, you can get it in a restaurant. That's weird. I've been to many a Waffle House, and uh -huh. I never had one of those. I like burnt cheese. <laughs> I like burnt come up popcorn. <laughs> oh no, that's nasty. No, I hate that good. shit. Like it's the smell good. of it will never go away. Mm -mm, I love it. It tastes <laughs> more buttery for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with the emphasis on butt. Butt. Uh, butt hairy. Hairy butt. Um, yeah. I like Screwdriver. I don't give a fuck what anybody says about it. Listen like to screwdriver. it. It's a fucking great band. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I mean, I years and years ago when I first heard that shit, man, I was like, fuck yeah, man, this is some fucking great punk. Yeah. And they went metal and... Yeah. But uh, very controversial. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I pretty much got X'd out of the scene for putting that up on the Facebook. I put, uh, Force! I put, uh, <laughs> I had the challenge of like 10 <laughs> albums that changed your life, and I put up Hail the New Dawn. Yeah. And instead of like, why would you put that up? It's like, oh, he's a fucking Nazi. He's a Nazi. He's a Nazi. And I'm like, well, if you listen to what he's saying, it's happening right now. Yeah. It has been happening for the last couple of years. Yeah. Well, everyone's racist. Yeah. Everything is a racist and everyone's Yeah, I fucking a... hate NASCAR. Yeah. And uh, I, I do not. Really? Mm -mm. Just a big circle. I'd rather watch Formula One. It's fine. 
but I'm a racist, so I hate Tour de France. Oh, I NASCAR. get it. Race. Yeah, racing. Because <laughs> racing. You guys get it? Boy, it's that's a, joke. a terrible joke. I hope we're recording. It is. We're, we're still going. going. Nope, it's paused. No, it isn't. Just kidding. Why are you always going to do that? You say it's paused, and it has the pause thing. I'm like, oh, it is. No, shut up. You pause it to pause. <laughs> um, I like this fucking, uh, I like hiking in the snow. Oh, man, this shit's rough. It's rough as fuck, but nobody's around. And when you fucking pull up three, four miles to a frozen lake, fuck to the hells, yeah. Yeah. I need to get some snowshoes, by the way. But um, most people, like, it's that's coming. what you always hear around here, because we get a lot of snow up here. The greatest snow on earth. Yeah. And it's always like, oh, yeah, but I hate the snow. I just fuck hate the snow. Well, I, I hate, hate driving when... in the snow because y'all fucking forget how to drive once something starts falling out of the sky. I kind of hate it when people say that shit. I'm like, oh, I hate the snow. Well, why do you live here? It's like, what did you fucking say? Go to California. I can't say that, though, because I bitch about the heat. I also bitch about the heat. But, you know, pool. Yeah. It was nice today. It fucking rained. Ooh. I was in the pool today just vacuuming all the dirt out. Yeah. Because tomorrow. Because you shit your pants. No, I think other kids shit their pants away from the pools. <laughs> Cut some crumbles at the I, bottom. I had to fucking vacuum their poos out. <laughs> it's like little little rabbit turds and stuff in yeah, there. There were some pebbles. Like, you see them shaking their fucking trunks. Like, what are you doing? A couple there? little pebbles just shaking out. Like, I wouldn't notice. You fucking kids. God damn it. Um, I like be getting blackout drunk. <laughs> well, who doesn't? Because if I don't remember it, it never happened. It never happened, son. Sorry. I don't remember that shit. That never Prove happened. it. I, I always... didn't say we're going to sell all our shit and move, get a van and ride around the country. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, whenever my wife has a problem with me getting blackout drunk and being an asshole to her, mm-hmm. I just tell her, look, that was drunk, Joe. I don't even know that guy. It's like, he takes over. You need to take it up with him. Yeah. Go watch the movie Sybil. I don't know that dude. <laughs> Sybil? Yeah. Sybil Shepherd? No, it was with, uh, what's her fucking name? Uh, Gidget. What was her fucking Sally Field. Mm-hmm. And she played a uh, multiple personality person. Okay. That's pretty be, fucked up. That could be kind of hot. I like semi-dirty pussy. Mm, yeah. I like hairy pussy. Well, I mean, like, say, like, they've gone all day and they sweat a little bit. Oh, yeah. It gets a little musky down musky there. Musky, dude. Really oh, sewing oh, in that man. flavor. Yeah. Sit on my face, yeah. darling. Now, once you get past the sweat, and then the juice gets all over. Nah, man, I fucking love it. It's a salt lick. Like yeah, a salt it is. Lick. It's like, fucking great. I don't know what it is. It's just same, dude. Delicious. Let's just call it there. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. That's a great. That's a great list. That <laughs> last end on one, a high note there. <laughs> yeah, that was a great list. And so, ladies, I, just don't wash it before a date. Go to shave the it, but don't wash it. Go to the gym. Have a good workout. Sit on my face. Get done. Call Micah. Don't shower and go sell Mike's face. Yeah, I'll put some patchouli on for you, baby. <laughs> That's how we eat pussy. Yeah. That's why we're bad at it. Because yeah. we just make, we just go on the pussy and we make those noise. We're, like, we're just like, you start just humming Mario under their clip. And then when she's about to come, be like, right before they're about to come, you're all right before they come, you're like, you finish that level. Am I a squirt? Oh, and then you need to scoop a gear because you just got squirt up your nose. Congratulations. <laughs> you rocked your world. That's right. <laughs> good, good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should play some songs. You want to? Yeah. Let's do that. So I hope you all like fucking Vaughn because they kick ass and if you don't like them, then you just need to go find a cold, dark place and just end it. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs>
Motherfucking Vaughn, bitch. That was some some good shit. So that was fucking Vaughn. Devil Pig from uh, Satanic Blood. And then um, if any of you diehards out there go to the Satanic Blood Angel um, double LP. Yeah. That was Lamb live. Live. Bitch. Where the fuck do you hear fucking Vaughn live besides your fucking sick ass fucking collection? Nowhere. The buddy you're jealous of. No one plays this shit. Nobody fucking has the fucking balls to play shit that we play, dude. Because we fucking rule. We have better taste than most. I mean, there's definitely like podcasts that I dig that play really great music. Yeah. You know, playing Vaughn. Into the necrosphere. You know what I'm saying? Like, that one's fucking pretty legit. It's good. But, um,. Dude, there's no fucking podcast out there playing GBK and fucking Vaughn and fucking like <laughs> if there is evil cunt, they're they're underground. If there is, yeah, man, like fucking let us know, dude. We'll we'll hang out together. And yeah, we'll do interviews with them. And yeah, yeah. like we play that shit. Cool. Let's have a fucking crossover, motherfucker. Or wait a minute, how many followers do you got? Because I'm not letting you piggyback on my shit. Yeah, well, you can. You take your three followers. And take our fucking legions of fans. Legions out there. of rotheads. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. The rotheads. The gutmeisters. The rotheads. <laughs> We're gonna make T shirts one day and one of them will say rothead. Mm. Rothead for life. I'm a rothead. Straight up rothead. Um well, we got some, some we got some speak, silliness coming up. Speaking of rotheads, Waffle House is this magical place in the south where What do they sell? You know what's the 24-hour just kind of breakfast place? Okay, like fucking Denny's or D's or something. It, like uh, okay, comparable here on the West Coast to uh, like Denny's or D's or yeah. something like that. Okay. Um, a little less than, though. Okay. So you could get a lot lizard in the fucking parking lot. You could definitely you get some crack or a lot lizard in the parking yeah. lot. It's I'm no f- I problem a fucking whatsoever. crack whore. Yeah, you could get a crack whore there. Yes. Um, yeah, it runs 24 hours, five bucks. For a breakfast and a fist fight. You know Hell what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's a deal you deal. can't beat. I'm a fan of the Waffle House. I've been to three of them. Um, a couple of them in Florida and one in Alabama. And uh, always a good time. Always. Good. Al- always full of mutants. How's the food? It'll make a turd. Yeah. It'll make it. The food's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's, a, it's greasy, you know I mean? fucking yummy, it's delicious, fucking. fucking yeah, it's yeah, drunk. Comfort food. food yeah. If you're drunk. It's, it's fucking perfect, amazing, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand fucking Denny's so that, anymore because all of a sudden their pancakes are actually cake. Oh, fuck all that noise, dude. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I saw this thing about Waffle House and then just kind of like put it into work perspective like perfectly. It's uh, from Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. My boyfriend keeps getting into fights with a cook at Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> This is the crazy part. My boyfriend keeps going back and ordering eggs. Oh, shit. Did I fucking fuck this up? Uh, no. He, he, did you flip through too fast? I think I'm on it. He ordering eggs and getting into fistfights with the same cook. It's almost a ritual at this point. My boyfriend <laughs> orders runny eggs. The cook serves him some other version of eggs. Then they beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> I quit going with him after the second fight because he kept going by himself. They're like Peter and the giant chicken from Family Guy. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. They have physically fought like six or seven times over this. Oh, man. I've tried to talk to him about it. Scrambled eggs. Times. Yeah. What the fuck on runny eggs? He always orders runny eggs, and the dude gives him some other kind of egg. <laughs> okay. I've tried to talk to him about it a few times, but he keeps saying, it's a matter of principle. <laughs> <laughs> I love this girl's boyfriend. <laughs> I've told him to talk to the manager or something like that, but he just waves me off. Apparently, that cook hasn't made him the correct runny eggs, but it's like... He spends the week learning new ways of making eggs to piss my boyfriend <laughs> off. Dude, I think that guy should, like, fucking make scrambled eggs and then jerk off in it. And then he's like, here's your runny eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed my ass off. No, that's so stupid. That is so fucking cool. It's so I love he's it. Like, he's like, uh, yeah, whatever. They both know the deal. 
He's going to show up and ask for runny eggs. That cook is going to be like, nope, they're getting poached tonight, motherfucker. <laughs> and then it's fucking go time. And the both, yolk's running. They're both just into it. Dude, they're, I get to see them just fucking like... They're just both like... Like, he's like stands up and flips the table over. Motherfucker, I said runny eggs. Yeah. This isn't the first time. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> he comes out of the fucking, like, the back from behind the cookery. What'd you say, bitch? What'd you say about my egg? Your eggs were runny as fuck. You better start running. You better stop running. I run for I'll shit. Fuck you up. I just imagine this, like, black cook just out of the joint and this fucking white trash fucking, like, truck driver or something. And it's fucking, it's just fucking go time, dude. I imagine. They it, both like... know the deal. They both know what's up. And they're both, like, just kind of enjoying it. I think it's, I, I imagine like on Dumb and Dumber, when the one guy's all fucking trying to get the girl, and he's like, he's daydreaming while he's fucking driving. Yeah. And then he he stands up and like cracks his knuckles, and the dude has the two fish, and he's like swinging the fish. And this guy's got two chickens, swinging chickens all like pulling its legs and shooting eggs out at him. Boop, 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 boop. That's running enough for you. How that? That's fucking running. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and they're just like beating the shit out of each other. Either way, everybody just sitting there watching. Yeah, well, like every, it's normal. Everyone else is just like, oh well, it's Waffle House, we expect. But these guys are what America's about. These guys are America with a capital M. <laughs> Your eggs aren't running now. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. You gotta cough if you want to get off. He pit pause because he I didn't did. want you to hear him die. Ooh man, that's a good vape. <clears throat> I'm still dying. I don't want to live in America <laughs> just where I can beat a fucking cook up for fucking making that's shitty amazing. food. That's amazing. That's amazing. That is the that's one of the most American stories ever. It is. Let's hear your article. All right, I got one. It's not so American. It's more Austrian. That's fine. All right. <coughs> oh man, that fucking little pen hit me good. I mean, uh, regular normal vape took it to the dome. Yeah. So Austrian man brings home sup. God damn it, supper. Supper? I can't do shit Sounds tonight great. Either. Sounds Austrian great. man brings home super gonorrhea as a vacation souvenir. <laughs> Remember, kids, no glove, no love. Let me guess. He went to Thailand. Shit. No, I think he went to that fucking monkeypox festival. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. let's find out. Coachella? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when your parents taught you, if you're about to get down dirty, wrap it up. No. Mine was like, if you ain't going to sack it, go home and whack it. <laughs> your mom said that? No. My, <laughs> my older brothers did. Okay. That's where I learned about sex. <laughs> In a bad way. Earlier this year, an Austrian man in his 50s. Oh my God, you were close. You were close. He went on a trip to Cambodia. Oh shit. I was right there, dude. I knew it was Southeast Asia. Little man boys. When he returned home, he brought home a souvenir that nobody wants. He was fucking boys. I bet. Dress up like little girls. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> horrible. <laughs> it happens. Damn, you took that to the dome. I did. That thing was off when you hit it. So, <clears throat> turned out the man had gotten his freak out with a local prostitute. Oh, we're like psychic. During his trip. And he, in the moment, he forgot to wear a condom. Yeah. In the heat of the fucking moment. <laughs> what in the, the fuck? heat of the moment. <laughs> See, no, you're dying from it. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> I need a second, because much like my pussy eating skills, I didn't know there was a button I needed to push. <laughs> you got to push the button. I, I didn't know, push I didn't, the button. I didn't know I had to push a button to make, make things happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's called the clitoris. Yeah. So the dudes in so, Cambodia fucking underage boys and girls. Mo most likely. So, yeah, in the heat of the moment, my ass, he just, like, he wanted to raw dog a little boy in the butt, and Damn. he should be fucking murdered for it. Yeah, so just, stupid. that's, oh, maybe that's one of the opinions I have that so it's not stupid. popular that other people don't like. So the man in his 50s started experiencing some uncomfortable symptoms <laughs> and consulted a doctor. Yeah. You're ever tired of that steady drip? Drip, drip of gonorrhea. My dick is green and it's dripping some. So my dick's basically a giant zit right now. And uh, <laughs> this shit is gross. Um, 
The results of the examination were a nightmare. Dun, dun, dun. He had caught gonorrhea, but this wasn't just any. This wasn't your grandpa's STD. <laughs> The man was infected with an extremely drug resistance rare strain of super gonorrhea, like super ultra bug, mega yeah. shit. Yeah. Super as, bugs. <laughs> as unfortunate as the man's case is, the scarier part is that getting less and less rare. So cases of super gonorrhea are popping up with increasing increasing frequency, much to the concern of medical professionals. God damn. <laughs> so that's basically like maybe that's really what monkeypox is. It's like super gone race, so you get a flare up on your hands instead of your dick. God damn it, man. <laughs> if you're going to countries to fuck people that are probably underage in your country, uh, at least wrap it up. Yeah, man. If you're just if you're gonna get a hooker, period, you better fucking be wrapping We're, that put up. A double double bag that thing. <clears throat> I hate fucking wearing condoms because they're for faggots and sailors. And uh See now those? I have to, yeah. They go from port to port. <laughs> Set you up and you knock it down. Fuck you, Micah. Oh, my God. Micah is my hetero life, man. There's no, there's no doubt about it now. I've seen his wiener on accident. <laughs> oh, actually, it was on purpose. He was drunk. Everyone's seen my wiener. Yeah. It's not a big thing. That's going to be our new fucking uh, picture. We're going to take down the fucking uh, the skull and cross bottles and put up fucking... Uh, my hog. Just your fucking... Yeah, your big old hog. <laughs> Your little gray fucking beard. How long will it last? <laughs> so, uh, so this is his story, okay? <coughs> he, while he was there, he met an unidentified lady of the night. Yeah, he did. One thing led to another, and the two ended up dancing the horizontal tango. So this is my big thing right here. He met an unidentified lady of the night. So yeah. an unnamed prostitute yeah hooker and one thing led to another what he gave her money and she fucked him yeah so it went. i mean there was transportation involved and i'm usually begging and stuff please let's have sex with me <laughs> <laughs> and the priest is That's like and, what, the, and, the, priest and is the priest is like, like yeah okay i guess like, i'll fuck you again well i mean but... it's been about 40 years but i guess we can have like a little remembering thing yeah but uh, so pull down your shorts just like you did last time, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, <laughs> see it, Ave Maria. Maybe you do. Maybe that is a good reason to like the Catholic Church. <laughs> Get your dick sucked by fucking pedo. <laughs> <laughs> what does Miller Lite taste like? Fried food sometimes. <laughs> no, back to your back to your so, story. So, um, when he got home, he saw his junk was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so five days after Literally. his encounter with a Cambodian prostitute, the man started experiencing increasing pain while peeing. Normal. He also noticed what the authors of the study called a mercifully clinically urethral discharge. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, the it's drip. like pus comes out. Yeah, yeah, your fucking pee hole. It's like that weird band, the drip. It's... <laughs> <laughs> like a band. You know we got drip by the gallon. <laughs> it says. Were not so merciful. He was leaking pus from his dong. Yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, at this point, the man decided it was time for some medical attention. Oh, to by then? Commit yeah. suicide? Right. Get a bobbit <laughs> fucking on going on. He consulted a urologist and the, told the doctor about his Cambodian escapades. Yeah, he did. I had a cough again. <clears throat> Sorry. Don't blame me. Blame the fucking the vape. It wasn't a vape. It was, it was a legal, regular vape. Yeah. So, without further ado, the doctor performed a urethral swab, which is probably fucking brutal as fuck. Like, they get those, like, foot-long fucking Q-tips and shove it all the way down from your pee hole to your ball sack. Yep. Urethral swab. Oh, God, that would fucking suck. That's the, good That's the real raw dog. <laughs> My God, yeah, that doctor fucked his fucking dick pussy up. Yep. <laughs> his man pussy. No, that's a butthole. Um, so... The test confirmed the doctor probably already guessed he had gonorrhea. Gonorrhea yeah. is typically treated with antibiotics, so the doctor gave the man his medication, sent him on his way. <coughs> yeah, it's usually Jeez. treated by penicillin, from what I remember. Yeah. Not from experience, I promise. Yeah, I've never had gonorrhea. <laughs> I had a friend that had gonorrhea and it was penicillin. I had uh I had the clap. 
because when I was done, both of them were clapping. That's right. Both boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, dude. Thank you. <laughs> so fast forward two weeks and the man's symptoms had eased. His swab cultures also showed that he was clean. But there but. was something strange going on. A butt. PCR test on his urethral sample. Oh, it's a PCR test, so you know it's fake. Uh, still showed active gonorrhea. Fuck's a PCR test. Conspiracy theorists that listen to this will get it. Puzzle doctors <laughs> ran from further tests. Results. Okay. It's like how they administer the fucking uh, COVID. Fucking uh, had to see if you have it or not. Okay. And where that they said that they're running it at a forty-eight, and if you run it past twenty-four, you're not getting any fucking real results. It's all going to be positive. Wow, thanks, Alex Jones. Yep. Continue with your I'll story. I'll tell you right now. They're making the freaking frogs gay. Frog run. Ribbit. Uh, you know, frogs just change their genders naturally. Yeah, it's it's a natural thing. Yeah. So, uh, for frogs, not humans. They ran all the tests, and they found the gonorrhea strain infecting the man was drug-resistant. Mm-hmm. Unless the antibiotics that the bacteria resistant include... Mm-hmm. All right, cut me some slack, bitches. Jeez. Ceftriaxone, azithromycin, cefixime, cefixime, cefixatine, ciproflaxin, and tetracycline. Yeah, nailed it. I fucking nailed that, dude. You fucking nailed it. I'm glad I fucking studied up on my Latin this week. (laughs) Is that Latin? I don't know. Yeah, I think they usually have some fucking weird (laughs) shit. None of the most common drugs used to treat gonorrhea were working on the super strain. And there was another medication that could work, namely the amoxicillin, and most people have had that. Yeah. Clavionic acid. And sure enough, for seven days, the man was free of gonorrhea. However, the doctors did not perform another PCR test for some reason, so is he actually clean? Mm-mm. Oh, well, he's Fuck got a no. growing problem, and he's it's not his penis. Growing problem. His wife doesn't turn him on. Mm-mm. That's why he has to go to fucking um, country to fuck some hooker. Uh, so yeah, it just kind of goes on and just explains about like uh, a gonorrhea shit. I'm sure you don't want me to fucking tell you what gonorrhea is like. Just look up Google image search it, and yeah. you're like, I'm wearing a rubber from now on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> it says at the end. So when it's time to engage in the sweet act of physical love, when you're about to stick your dick in a pussy hole, <laughs> a strange pussy hole you don't know. When that skin boat rolls into Tuna Town, mm-hmm. it better have a raincoat. Um, it says use protection or the super gonorrhea might get you next. And you know what? Speaking from experience, you had gonorrhea. You, you, so I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I've probably used a condom like five times in my entire life. Really? Yeah. I used to use them all the time. Yeah. Well, I'm shooting blank, so it's kind of, yeah. Oh, if you're shooting blanks, yeah, why why the fuck would you? Yeah, man. So But then again, because of that story, like yeah. you don't know what she has. Exactly. It's not like a I don't want to get like a... I said I've got one and it was fucking uh, chlamydia. Damn. And that what was did, what'd you do for that? Uh penicillin. Oh really? Yeah, okay. It was fine. It was it, it was worth it. <laughs> I came. It was worth it. I came in this girl's vagina hole. Not to brag, but I but I had a three-way the night before my wedding with my ex-wife and her best friend, the maid of honor. You know what? You're welcome. Good for you. Yeah, man. Good for you. I like alcohol. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way that would have ever happen. I like uh, alcohol and um, um, vagina. Los dragas. And I told my wife tonight, I was like, something. It's like, I'm no weatherman, but you better expect a couple inches tonight. Yeah. She was like, oh, you look nice with your new haircut and beard. And I was like, well, let me just tell you what. Yeah, you actually did trim your beard, huh? They trimmed my beard, yeah. Shaped it. You know what? I went to Looks Super good. Cuts. Did you? I went to Super Cuts. You know why? Why? Because I can make those chicks laugh. Gonorrhea. Yeah. yeah. Do it, man. I can make them laugh. They fucking think I'm hilarious. Why don't hilarious. you just go to Bikini Cuts? No, dude. Because titties on your head no, while you're getting your haircut. No, dude. I, you get it anyway. No. I want to go where the girl has probably like two kids from two different baby daddies. She's fat, but she's desperate for a dick, and she's willing to laugh at anything. Strip club? The biggest thing I want out of it 
is a laugh. I want to make the chick laugh. <laughs> and that's why I go to Supercut. <laughs> I thought and, you were talking about the titty bar. No, man. I, I want to make the chick laugh. I can't make strippers laugh. I'm like, Why? They have the same criteria, except for they're just naked. No, they're in a different mood. Oh, yeah. When you're a fucking hair cutter, you just want to get this guy done next, and get him out of there. Next, right. And hopefully he has some kind of personality. Stripper, she's trying to get through the fucking night, man. She's like, all these guys are boners. Their pants are a little bit wet. I'm fucking not digging this, but I'm making a shit ton of money. Yeah. What the fuck? Not all mm-hmm. of them. Some of them are fucking exhibitionists, and they love it. <clears throat> I know a few strippers. It's gross. Yeah. My ex-girlfriend it's not was, gross. My, one of my ex-girlfriends was a stripper out at the Wendover American Bush. Oh, yeah. Where man, they sh- show every, everything and fuck people in the back alley. No, they don't do that. <laughs> I, that, that reminds me, you know, fucking... Uh, there's a fucking... <clears throat> comedian he was talking about it about how they have the bikini bars in california yeah and like here we have pasties and a g-string yeah and even the sides of their shit can hang out of that g-string and they don't care but they have full nude bars but there's no alcohol you got beer i believe beer no 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 alcohol I, I thought it was and you'll have to be 18 to get into like fucking uh what is it, american bush yeah american bush yeah that was it. And anybody who's anybody knows, you need a couple fucking shots to take the edge off. Because when that pussy's all right in your face, dude, it looks like the alien thing's going to suck on your face and plant it in your mouth and shit, you know? You are one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Predator. I'm sorry. You know the face thing? I, you got, the, that... I got the wrong alien. But, but the Predator also alien. looks like a pussy hole. Yeah, he does. And... um and there's a new Predator movie coming out. I just learned today from a guy at work. Dude, I'm so excited about it. So, um, I think we should shut up, play a song, and uh, then we'll get to some truth or consequences. Yeah, bitch! Cause I Fuck gotta, your fucking face! Because I got a squeege.
Noctuary. Noct- That's Noctuary. Noctuary. I think it's Noctuary. Noctuary. It's like nighttime airy. Uh, I was in an old band. Met these guys on the road in L.A. Really fucking sick album. That was Sorrow in the Winter Darkness. Mm. Yep. Good stuff. Sounds um, sad. If you check them out, yeah. No- Noctuary. N O C T. Sorrow and winter darkness, that's sad. Makes me sad inside. Especially because they don't get fucking uh, snow in California, so that's why they're so sad. No, at least least Southern California doesn't. Yeah. Northern California gets a bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Anywho. Oh. We're going to do some truth or consequences, dude. Yeah, we are. So I have to get the bottle ready. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Why are you but uh, I was, like I was clucking, man. It was a chicken mother clucker. Don't call me that. Come on. Yeah, Come on. yeah man. Come on. You ever notice that a fucking if you, if a rooster looks up, it looks like a fucking wiener with a small dick <laughs> or like ball sack, big ball sack chin he's got. That's, what foghorn, no. leghorn, and shit? You know? No. Huh? I don't look a lot of roosters in the eye. Well, you don't look them in the eye; they'll peck you. You look at their ball sack chin, like Peter Griffin. Jesus. Best episode ever. <laughs> All right, we're All right. gonna play truth or consequences. Oh yeah, I gotta do. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Straight see out of. You, see if you can hear this. That was whiskey. Oh, that was a whiskey. Open. That was the whiskey. Mm. So Happy. if Happy. Uh, if you're new to the show, and you don't know the truth or consequences, dude. I'll give you like the bottom rung. Okay. So you don't fucking like pass out before that shit's over, because. Yeah. <laughs> It's rough. So I'm giving him a little halfy shots because it's it's gonna be a long ride. Just kidding. I don't think it's that, too bad. We should probably use that Jack Daniels. Actually, I don't want to like use. No, you're good, dude. That's what it's here for it's tonight. Okay. Tonight is your night, bro. Tonight is your night, bro. Human hair and fingernails continue to grow after death. True or false? True. So you have to drink beer. No. Yeah. Oh, uh, this one's not showing it. That's gay, so you're going to have to take like 10 shots in a row. Fuck you, that's true. That's false. No, it's not. It's true. I bet you money is false. It's fucking true. You know why? It looks like it does because the skin shrivels. Oh, shit. Yep. I know these things. Remember things I like? Dead shit. <laughs> God. All right. These are all true or false, by the way. <laughs> Sucking back on some of Grandpa's old cough syrup, are ya? There you go. You pumpkin <laughs> hair cut freak. <laughs> I love that shit. All right there's the yeah, best part. Pretty great. The Guinness Book of World Records holds the record for being the most stolen from public libraries. The Guinness Book? Yeah. I'm going to call false on that one. I believe that's false as well. As well because it's uh, the most used to settle differences. And no stuff. one really yeah. gives a shit. Now you got Google. Yeah. No shit. Just Google it. Termites eat wood twice as fast when listening to heavy metal music. True. I believe that's true as well. Soccer. Is it it, true? I don't know. It's not showing. It's going to show the results at the end, which is stupid. I wish I'd have picked a different one, but I think uh, they do. (laughs) Gets them in a frenzy. They start pitting. I think so. Soccer is the next. From the wood and the. Fucking rappers! Eat the wood, chew the wood, bring it home. Um, soccer is the national game of India. Yeah, probably. All they have is dirt and fucking cows. Do they have the cremation ceremonies right on the river they bathe in? That fucking Ganges. river is one of the most polluted rivers in the fucking world. I also got kicked out of fucking history class in 10th grade because I told the fucking teacher he's pronouncing it wrong. He called it the Ganges River. And I'm like, it's the Ganges. I'm like, do you watch anything? Do you fucking know anything? And he's got fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> when I did that in college with the my history professors, they were like thankful. They're like, oh, mm. thank you. You know. And I don't feel like an ass. I've been mispronouncing it for 20 years. <laughs> the Ganges. China is the fourth largest producer of gas and oil in the world. Fourth. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll say true because they have so much area they have to be. I think it's something. false. Really? Well, most of the oil's up there in fucking Russia. 
A cockroach can live for nine days after its head's been cut off. So I guess we'll do the, get the results. Yeah. And then I'll just drink alcohol. <laughs> Jesus. I know, this is going to be a rough one. Okay. <laughs> um, a cockroach can live for nine days after its head's been cut off. True or false? Fuck, this sounds false. So I'm going to say true. I think it's either seven or nine days. It might be a trick question, but I know it'll live for days without a head. Really? Yeah, for That's real. fucking weird. In Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Steamer. Sorry, guys, in there in Cleveland. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm but not go, sorry. Go. That's it's why the Cleveland. football team is the Browns. <laughs> I actually kind of like the Indians, though. Uh, I have to be because a dickhead because I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan and the Browns are in my division. Oh, are they? Yeah. So they're, the, they're the Cleveland Steamers to me. Yeah, sorry. Cleveland no, Steamers. not sorry. I mean, go do, Ravens. Do the fucking Ravens really have anything to fear from the fucking Browns, dude? No, well, no, yeah. Not, not this season. Yeah. Browns actually did pretty good last season. But... Yeah, but, I mean, I just looked at, like, what the fucking Ravens, like, who they, like, got. From, like, oh, yeah, draft. the draft, yeah. And it looked like they're in pretty good position yeah. right now. At least defensively. All right, so in in, in, in Cleveland, I know, I, uh, that's what we need is defense. We need flax. We need a bit, better old line, too. Yeah. Anyway, in Cleveland, Ohio, it's illegal to catch mice without a hunting license. False. I think that's true. A car traveling 100 miles per hour would take more than 39 million years to reach the nearest star. How the fuck would I know? Uh, true? I bet it's more than that. Yeah, probably more. I don't know. The parachute was invented by Leonardo da Vinci in 1515. True. There are he 86 has sketches of it. Yeah, there are 86,250 seconds in one day. I don't know. I don't know the fucking math, dude. Yeah. Fucking true? I don't know. I have no clue either. And I could do that math in my head, but that was before we started the show and I started drinking. Yeah. And playing with that coffee machine that coughing machine coughing <laughs> machine I get it That's uh, a goldfish has a memory span of about 8 seconds true yep that is true your right lung takes in more than your left lung does only if you're right handed false I don't know false okay marine no main marine it's starting to blare <laughs> Maine is the toothpick capital of the world. True. Good for you, Maine. Good job. Pick them teeth. In the past 4,000 years, no new animals have been domesticated. False. What's been domesticated? I just saw a thing about foxes today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of pictures of pet foxes and shit. Yeah. So maybe this isn't new enough. Copyright 1998. Uh, since 1896, the beginning of modern Olympics, only Greece and China have participated in every single game. True. I have no clue. In Sweden, there's a ski through McDonald's. True. I believe that's true. The dot over the letter I is called a tile. True. I have no clue, actually. I'm, that I feel kind of sad that I don't know that. Well, the two dots is a... Um, 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 Umlaut. Umlaut. Babies are born without kneecaps. They don't appear until the child reaches two to six years of age. True. Really? I'd say like maybe most like of their, one. Most of their bones are considered cartilage at that time. Yeah. Well, it says they they don't appear and they have no kneecaps until they're two to six years old. Huh, they have kneecaps false. when they're bold, born. That sounds, sounds false. I would like to change my answer if that's possible. I did. I changed it. I appreciate that. The hardness <laughs> hard, <laughs> of ice is similar to that of concrete. True. Yeah, you fucking fall on ice like that. Hard is hard, dude. Yeah. That's what she said. That's super thin. Most lipstick is partially made of fish, fish scales. True. And whale fat. And uh, placenta. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty... You look lovely, though, ladies. Don't stop wearing it. Yeah. Whitby, Ontario has more fruit stores per capita than any other place in the world. False. Fuck, fuck you, Canada. 
Get, Fuck you. Get Trudeau out of there, please. But I like Fall and like Conquer and like Revenge and shit. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. I like everything about your country except for your I government. I like hockey players. Eh? I like Robert Pickton. Although I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm grabbing another one. So the next one is the human brain. What? I want another oh, one. Well. Man, I feel like a bartender. Fuck, I started waving at you. Sure. Yeah, I thought you were wanting another blowjob. I do, but later, <laughs> we're doing a show, my God, people We, we can't have the dogs in here all the time, dude. Put that peanut butter away. I will not. <laughs> the human brain is 80% water. 80% water? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that sounds wrong. False. You know our bodies are 80% water, right? 70% water. Oh, that was 80. You're wrong. And you're stupid. And you're no wrong. word in the English no dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go kill myself now. Uh, everybody likes me. Oh, wait. No, they don't. They really don't like me around here, do they? I like you. I, I, I got a big mouth. I like you. You're doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> we accept you. Whew. Dodge another bullet there. <laughs> hide those last bodies. Kill Michael, he walks out. <laughs> no word in the English dictionary rhymes with month. Your mom's a cunt. Yeah, cunt. Yeah, everyone knows what cunt is. Front. Well, if if it's Mike Tyson I'm gonna talking. I'm going to say false. <laughs> <laughs> you guessed it. I <laughs> did. That's false. That's false. I was like saying, if you're Mike Tyson, if you're Mike Tyson, tons of shit rhymes with month. (laughs) False. I'm going to say false. 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 (laughs) Americans eat about 20 billion hot dogs a year. True. I eat that many every day. I'll fucking eat a hot dog right now. I ain't scared of you. All right, last one, bro. Then we get to see your results. Right on. (laughs) Every time you lick a stamp. Oh. What the fuck's a stamp, dude? The things that, that, that we used to use at the post office yeah, and shit. Yeah, it's called stamps.com. So every time you lick a stamp to the stick it on, sucks. you gain a calorie. Sure, true. Okay. Well, let's see his results. And while we wait for his results to be coming... Oh, my God, you're fucked. <laughs> What? Oh, that's as stupid as fuck. What? what happened? It says, so how'd you do? You guessed from 9 to 14 answers correctly. There's 25. Fuck yeah. Wait, what? There's 25 questions, and like you got C? 9 to 14 correctly. Pretty good. Impressive, actually. I hope you had some fun learning some crazy stuff now. You have 10 answers. Well, fucking show me the ones. You fucking yeah, piece I want to see of the shit. One. This is all Micah's fault. He picked the shit test. I didn't do the test before. You should have did it before. I will from now on. I apologize. That was fucking rookie fucking move. <laughs> oh, well, no wonder. This is on the JDL website. JDL. <laughs> Jewish defamation. League. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> it's like you're trying to get me assassinated. I know. No, look at me first. Don't worry. I'm on one of those lists, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. It had beer and whiskey in it. Oh, wow. Well. It was like titillation. There's a name for that. I can't remember what it is, though. It's called JDL. No, it's like it's, uh, it's super... beer and lemonade or something. They make them. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so you Thanks. should just take a couple of shots because Spend I'm pretty sure you only got 9 to 14, so that means you need at least, if you got 14 at the max, that means you still need 16 shots. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's probably a good thing. Is that that okay? it wasn't showing you every single nine. time. You guys, you guys, fucking... you guys all, all owe me nine shots. Just, just grab the bottle and fucking choke it like you're getting some gas money. Just chug. Chug for a sec. Grab the bottle, chug for one second, and you're good. That's it. That's it for the night. Then drink water and eat bread. That's or all whatever. you fucking need, fu- man. I don't Jesus. Fu- you know what? I don't care. <laughs> do whatever you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I am not the governor. I think he's mad because he, he knows he didn't even get 50%. No, dude. Wait. What, uh, it'd be seven. I got over. I got, got nine. 48. Out, I got nine out of 14. 
no, no, no. Said, no. He not, said, it got, said in I between got nine out of fourteen. In between nine and fourteen. Seven out of twenty five. Halfway to fourteen. Out of twenty five. No, you got nine out of twenty five? No. You had in between nine and fourteen of them correct. It wasn't even fucking legit. Okay, so I had fourteen of of a maximum. You had fourteen. Best out of 25. case scenario, I had four. I had fucking more than half. So that's like I'm eleven done. that you yeah, lost. I'm that. I'm that smart. Mm. <laughs> that smart. <laughs> that smart. <laughs> I am so smart. S M R T. I, I mean, I got so I got like one third. I'll give it to you. One third. I don't want to do fucking fractions in my head. Come right on, now. dude. There's a point. And there's a it's pretty dash. close somewhere there. I think it's like you a got third. like <clears throat> a third, maybe an eighth. Fuck you, it's a third, <laughs> dude. You got uh, nine twenty fifths. You don't even know what that is. Fourteen twenty fifths at maximum. You can't even. You can't even spell twenty fifths. <laughs> Probably not right now. T W E N T Y. Shut up. F F I F. T-H? F-I-F. Fifth. So I many amendments to choose from. Um, Which one should I choose? In the Constitution. <laughs> but I'm going to choose the fifth. F-I-F. <laughs> fifth. <laughs> God damn it, Dave Chappelle. We love you. Oh, man. I don't know where that came from, but I just thought of that. That shit's but hilarious. I, as soon as you started saying that, I was like, oh, I know what he's talking We're about. We're doing Dave Chappelle right now. Because <laughs> he's the fucking best, dude. Oh, man. He's just so funny. All right, man. That's uh, it. The consequences is done. I think we're going to play you guys some Vlad Tepish. No. No Vlad Tepish. We, we switched Sorry. it out. Oh, you we changed it? We went Noctuary. It? Noctuary. Sorry. No. We're going... That's what we played last. We're going to fucking do... What the fuck's going on? You're not paying attention, dude. So hey, What are we playing? So, last podcast... We said we're going to play a song from our friends here that are in Salt Lake. But we're playing two songs, right? No, that's, that's the only one we haven't played yet. Oh, fuck Yeah, we're hell. drunk, dude. Okay, so rewind a bit. Last podcast, I was drunk. We, fucking we both were. Alert the media. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I've been drinking. Call the fucking Weekly World News. You listen to this podcast, and you're not drunk, and you're not straight edge. Here. Fucking pussy. No, I want to fuck your sister. You guys need to keep up with us. I think is what he meant to say before he started talking about fornicating with your sibling. Well, what I meant to say was, Micah, back to you. We were, uh, <laughs> so last time we got pretty fucking lit up. And I think actually that last episode, I listened to it afterward and I about pissed myself on the way home. We were it pretty was fucking pretty funny. Hilarious. Not to, to toot our own horn, but that was a pretty good one. Toot my horn, bitch. But we got pretty fucking lit up toot and uh, we were talking about our friend's blood purge in Salt Lake. And um, instead of playing the song before we turned <laughs> everything off, uh, we just like cut it right there. So we're going to put blood purge on. And uh, they were like I said, if you ever, anybody around this area um, knows they used to be mind lock and. But now they're Blood Purge and uh, have a couple different members, and I just farted. And this one's called The Slaughtered Well, hang on. It was Mind Lock and, like, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, right? No, no. Okay. That was a show that they did and a split CD. So it is split with the Mormon Tabernacle <laughs> Choir. It sold out, dude. Don't even yeah. try to find it. It's, like, limited to 666 copies. Yeah. I mean, you can't find it. You can't find and it. And if you do, they're not going to give it to you. No. But we're going to actually play it for realsies this time. <laughs> Hell yeah. Blood purge. And this purge. is uh, the Slaughtered Lamb Blood Purge. Hell yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you too. Thanks for tuning in. They, oh, yeah, it's so amazing. Thanks for tuning in to the Rock Hill Podcast. Blee, 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 blee. What did that mean?
the night. 